Alright, this is the Alumcraft 1436 LT version. It is a 2016 version and I'm having problems with the transom. I have a long tail mud motor that I got from Swamp Runner. It's a Predator kit and then you have whatever kind of small, medium, large kit of Swamp Runner for the long tail mud motors on there. And Alumcraft does not warranty their boat if you modify it and putting one of the long tail mud motors on it they say modifies it so they will not fix my transom so I have to um, as you can see that you may see is that there's a big bubble right here and the wood on the inside stops here and I can stick my fingers in between the outside and the inside and it's just there's a big bow in it right here. So I got this aluminum plate. It is it is quarter inch thick. I powder coated it. It's T6 hardened. Um, it's 60 60 something. But I went ahead, drilled all my holes, and then powder coated it. Just so you can see, I did put a bevel on it. So this will be the facing the boat. And yeah, so I'm probably gonna have to sand this down before I get it on there, but the whole plan is to put it just like this. Start from the bottom, drill those holes, put them in, get that tightened down, do these two next, drill them out, tighten it down and then do these top two where I drill them out, tighten it down. And if that looks good, then we'll take it off. We'll put Marine 5200 on this side and here, slap it up against there, tighten all four of those down, and then we'll have it all beefed up again. Uh, so with that, I got to get these two rivets out. That's what holds, I would call it like a buffer plate out. And once we take those out, then we can start drilling our holes going from the bottom upwards because we're going to try to bring this metal that's bubbled out, bring it back, work it up because this rail is bent down this way and there's a crease right here. So we're going to try to fix that by bringing all this up and hopefully rounding this out like that. So we'll see what happens and get on with it. So as you see, that's what I would call the buffer plate right here. It's different from the rest of it. So it's just those two rivets holding it on. One here and one here. And those are the only two that we got to remove just because I don't want this in the way because then it's almost too thick and I really don't need it. I'm going to go ahead and fill those in 
with a quarter inch bolt which should fit in that hole without drilling it out. Cheap piece of plywood, nothing special. I finally got it so I just kept working my bits up got to the quarter inch which is what the bolt is that I'm putting in what I'm using got a big washer small washer and a lock nut I'm just gonna use it right now to tighten it up big washer on the inside of the boat small washer on the outside with the thread sticking out 